Hey guys, guess where we're at? Check that out. If you're new here, welcome. We're Darius and Oculus of DIY Power Couple. So today we're gonna to check out the Vinyl Plank Flooring Brands and we're gonna see which ones are good for DIYers like you. All right, so let's go. Let's go. We are headed to the flooring section, and if you want more, we have a Vinyl Plank Flooring for Beginners playlist on our channel. And be sure to check out the Vinyl Plank Flooring review video we did at the Home Depot. And now that we are at Lowe's, we are going to look for these features. Price, quality, and how easy it is to DIY. The main display in our Lowe's has Stainmaster and Style Selection. Now Stainmaster is the brand that Lowe's acquired in 2021 and Style Selections is the brand that is sold exclusively at Lowe's. So we're gonna check out Stainmaster first. One thing we noticed was that they have new extra large planks that are nine inches wide and 60 inches long with a 12 mil wear layer. These are some big vinyl planks. But we didn't see a sample to touch and check out. And we wanted to see all the styles and options that usually the Star brand has to offer. In our opinion, they have a nice variety of vinyl plank patterns that mimic real wood. What really caught our eye were the yellow clearance tags within this collection. This brand usually has a mid to high price point, so this particular style was on clearance for 97 cents per square foot, originally around $4 per square foot. This is their standard 7 by 48 inch plank with a 12 mil wear layer and an underpad. When you see a small amount of product on clearance like this, you can think small DIY project like a powder room or a closet office. And even though the interlocking system on this sample was damaged, probably because it had been handled so much, it still felt very durable. As a DIYer, you want to know how much final plank flooring you'll need for your project when you run into great deals like this. So let's quickly review how to calculate your square footage and determine how many boxes of planks to buy. So for your room, you wanna measure the longest length in feet, and then you wanna measure your longest width in feet. You take those two numbers and multiply them together to get your square footage. So when you're buying planks, you wanna multiply your square footage by 10%, and this will give you enough planks in case you make a mistake. In big box stores, you'll see flooring listed as price per square foot and see the total amount of square footage per box. So you find out how many boxes you need by taking your calculated square footage total and dividing it by how much square footage one box covers. Then you round up the number you just calculated to the nearest whole number. In this example, for this room, you would need 13 boxes. This is good information to know because a lot of times these deals go fast. It was kind of difficult to find a price point for Stainmaster at our lows with all the clearance prices. Some of the thicker styles were less expensive than the others. I guess if we had a range, it would be 97 cents per square foot to around $4 per square foot. These planks are durable enough for pretty much any area of your home. However, in our opinion, cutting and installing these heavier planks may be a little more difficult for a beginner DIYer. These are some high quality planks, and let's see if we can find some that are a little more DIY friendly. Now let's check out the brand you'll see everywhere in Lowe's. I feel like Style Selections is marketed to people who like to make easy home improvements. The feel of these planks were more smooth than textured. They give more of a vinyl floor look than a rustic wood appeal. This is one of the reasons why vinyl plank flooring is so popular. It's because it can give you a variety of looks in your own home. When looking for vinyl planks, the box actually gives you a lot of information about its specific features. We like to see how many planks are in a box and how much square footage it will cover. We like to know how thick the plank is and what type of wear layer. This one has 12 mil. This plank right here is a good example of the features you'll find common to vinyl plank flooring that you'll find at a big box store. Vinyl planks with these features would be considered a mid-range quality. 
If you're wondering why would people even buy these planks, it's because it's a decent value for the price. They're top sellers because they're known for being vinyl planks that are some of the easiest to install for DIYers. So here's a list. The thickness of the plank affects its durability and how easy it is to cut and install. The wear layer is the transparent film that takes the most abuse from foot traffic, spills, and just overall wear and tear. And the price range keeps it affordable, especially if you find some planks on sale. There are a lot of options out there and we want to help you to make an informed decision. Style Selection has a range of different mill layers, thickness, and plank sizes. So be sure to check the box to make sure you have the right one for your project. You may see a few boxes of Procore in your lows, but that brand is being discontinued. You may also see the Smartcore brand. I have to be honest with you guys, when I first saw this, I wasn't sure what it was because it said premium waterproof flooring. On the box, it didn't say that it was vinyl plank. We went to the end cap display to double check this brand and it is marketed as a vinyl plank flooring. They also have extra long and extra wide planks, but not a wide selection of color styles. And we really were wondering what the core of the plank was made out of. These looked more like laminate planks, but they were in the vinyl plank flooring section. They had a price point of about $3.99 per square foot, and these planks had a nice look and feel that mimicked wood planks. Since we didn't know much about these planks, I went on the internet to check out the SmartCore brand and it got some mixed reviews. It seemed like the concerns were how durable the interlocking mechanism was and also the scratch resistance of this product. I had to look it up because it was fascinating what this Cortec technology was. Now, according to the website, the Ultra is made out of a well, wood composite core and the other is made out of a polymer core. We saw smart core planks on clearance for 82 cents per square foot and there was still a lot of boxes. I'm just saying. Maybe a DIYer can use these planks in a creative way to still make them work in a project. Our Lowe's also had smart core pro and smart core ultra to choose from. We were pleasantly surprised that Pergo now has a luxury vinyl plank. In our opinion, Pergo Duracraft is a solid example of a luxury vinyl plank that's easily available to DIYers that you can install on just about any flat subfloor. We didn't see anything under a 20 mil wear layer for these vinyl planks. Pergo has several laminate options, but Duracraft is the only luxury vinyl plank collection that we found. To make it easier for yourself, a sharp concave knife and power tools will help you cut these tiles. We really like the soft feel of these planks and the price point was about $4 per square foot with some of the styles on sale at our Lowe's. It's great to know exactly what's inside of the store that you're going to. So let's recap all the flooring that we've seen. These are the brands we saw at our store. Stain Master, Style Selections, Smartcore, and Pergo. And guys, have you noticed that usually the big box stores will put the high-end brand at the beginning of the aisle? Now that you have a better understanding, we know you'll make the best decision for your vinyl plank flooring. Thank you guys for coming with us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear about your flooring experience and we'll see you in the next one. So we're finished with the vinyl plank flooring. That was a lot.
If you're now ready to install your vinyl plank flooring, we have an entire playlist to show you how. We also give step-by-step -step instructions in our videos to make things easier for you. We invite you to subscribe to our channel.